Betty, I have another question for you uh, about history. This goes back to when you were in high school okay. and what the dress code was. Well, anyway, it first started, see, I went to Fullerton Union High School in Fullerton, California from 67 to 71. Okay. When I first started, the freshman year, you couldn't wear pants at all. The girls. Girl, the, the girls. The guys could wear pants. Could wear pants. Yeah. <laughs> I'm being... Yeah, I'm yeah, being now, a, now you don't know. I mean, so oh. <laughs> <laughs> they could wear a kilt for all we know. Oh, yeah. But, and the, the dresses had to come, I think, an inch above the knee. Okay. Which the year before in junior high, they made you get down on the ground and your skirt had to, with your you know legs back behind yes. you. Yes. And the skirt had to touch the ground. Isn't so, that something? So at least it was an inch higher. Oh my gosh. You could wear mini skirts, you know, because even in 67, people were wearing mini skirts. Mm -hmm. And uh, skorts and hot pants were pretty big. Yep, I remember the hot so pants. Was, you know, because like we kept thinking, okay, some of the seniors you know, the cheerleaders and stuff were like, I'm wearing them no matter what, because they were getting out the next, they were graduating that year. So oh, like, and did they discipline them? Uh-huh. Oh. Some of them got you know. Oh, wow, suspended? Yeah, suspended. <gasps> <laughs> Different thing. Oh my None gosh. of them, I don't think, ever got expelled. Uh-huh. But it was more of a statement, you know. Yes. To say, hey, you know, we're, we're almost adults, so right. leave us alone. Um, but <laughs> by the time, I think it was soft, it must have been junior year. We could wear, sophomore year, I think we could wear pants, but they had to be like dress slacks. You couldn't oh, just wear okay. jeans and stuff. Oh. So by junior year, we could wear jeans as long as they weren't holy and all that kind of stuff. Right, right. But by senior year, everybody... What, what brand did you wear? Levi's. Okay. Yeah. Well, and <laughs> bell bottoms were big, so I go to the Williams Company or whatever it was, I think, where they had the, they had actual navy pants with wow. the big bells. Wow. And the navy jackets, that was big, uh -huh. sophomore and junior year. And since I was pretty much straight up and down, I didn't have curves yet, I could wear the men's oh. bell bottoms. And that's the way. I had a pair that were the buttons. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. forget about that. That's right, that's they right. all these buttons up each side. Yes. Instead of a zipper or whatever. Right. And, uh, could wear t-shirts. I don't think we could wear t-shirts until like my senior year. So by the time I was a senior, mm -hmm. I had cutoffs. Wow, that, those are a lot of changes in a just short in period really of time. Just a short period of time. And uh, I think they just got to the point where everybody was doing it, so it was hard to they just let you know, you guys... to discipline everybody. Yeah. And Because uh, remember, George had to have his hair cut a certain way. Oh, yes, I got him was, on another yeah. interview about that. And, and we couldn't wear, of course, that was the, during the brawless years too. Oh my goodness. In the first couple of years, they caught you without a bra, they'd send you home. <laughs> um, oh like my said, by gosh. By the time I was a senior, I was just like, I don't know if it was that I just didn't care or that they had relaxed on a lot of the codes. I think they you relaxed. You could wear Levi's and people were wearing Levi's with patches. I think you could wear as long as they had a patch. Uh -huh. um, but by the time I got to junior college, which was right across the street, yeah. I had a pair of uh, corduroy cutoffs that I had. Yeah. And the only thing that was keeping anything from showing is the pocket that hung down because it was ripped off. Because <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot nicer body then. That's too, but, funny. Know, oh my gosh. You, you forget all the and halter tops. Halter tops. Head. Yep. And yep. I had a friend that was like, I wish I could wear halter tops because she was well endowed and I was <laughs> flat chested. So I loved it. You know, I did yeah. all kinds of stuff. Right. I used to have a scarf, this big old scarf. Not like a sari size, but yeah. just a regular big scarf that yeah. I'd wear as a halter. Oh my gosh. People wow. come up and untie it. Yep, yep. <laughs> That's funny. Like, yeah, I didn't have anything to show anyway, so it wasn't that big a <laughs> Yeah, it was amazing how much it changed from freshman year to senior year. Right, and then by the time I, I started high school, I, star I graduated in 74. So I remember wearing hip hugger uh, yeah, pants. Yeah, with those midriff shirts. Yeah, and, and all that. a midriff top. Yeah. And then the um, hot pants. Hot pants were And a midriff top. And it's like, <laughs> and the platform it, shoes. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, my gosh. I don't think we could wear, <clears throat> excuse me, sandals 
the first couple of years. Uh -huh. They had to be in enclosed shoes. Yeah. Like tennis shoes. Yeah. And stuff. So they, you know, it was the time, that, it was a sign of the times. Too, right. So, right. you know, you couldn't buy a lot of stuff that yes. they wanted you to wear. Yes. Like for PE, you had to right. have, go right. to this one store to get the little shorts that came down mid mid thigh. Uh huh. And uh, the little Bobby Brooks, I think, was the name of the company that made the uniforms for all the oh okay you have a great memory wow well it was so it was so, in, it was so drummed into us I think, yeah because yeah. I remember mom and dad didn't have enough money when school first started to get all the stuff we needed mm -hmm. and then that was one thing that wasn't paid for by you know school funds right books and supplies and all that was still paid for by the by the state yes um, okay. Until Prop, I think it was Prop 13, I think is what changed all that. But okay. You had, you had to have your uniform, your tennis shoes, your athletic socks, a, a master combination clock. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, locks, the locks. For your locker as well as your locker for PE. Right. And you know, those things right. cost money. And, you know, Dad, you know, he, well, when he was working for the school, we had more money when he mm -hmm. was working for the, great, for the grade school, the state. I don't remember if it was state. Or they were city, but he worked for the elementary school system. Yeah. So it wasn't just my grade school he, he painted at. It was all the junior highs and high school. Too. Yeah. Okay. But the crew he was on was primarily grade school. Okay. So we would see him all the time. All they'd be doing is taking a break, pouring coffee in from their store. <laughs> we're like, hi, Dad, working hard. Ah. <laughs> so that was kind of interesting. That is neat. Yeah, it was different. Yeah, yeah. So that would be good to show the kids. Oh, I know. And compare how it is I mean, for them. Carly probably, you know, I probably mentioned it, but she probably doesn't remember. Right. By the time she right. started junior high, it was the hair up to here in the front and the dark eyes, you know, mascara. And, uh, what maybe, year did she start she high school? She started seventh grade. She would have been. She graduated in 96. Okay. Like ninety one, maybe. Yeah. And uh, yeah. the midriffs and the remember the little uh, short skirts with the yeah. dress jacket. Yeah. That was real big. Okay. Cause she wear mine, oh. and I go, where's my you know this? <laughs> and she'd have it on, and then at that time we were in the same size shoe, so she'd have my <laughs> my pumps on. Yeah. And then one time she came up, why does this smell so smoky? <laughs> Yeah, I, I smoked at that time, but it was kind of like, I've never smelt it on my own clothes. Yeah, you know? yeah. People didn't even know I smoked because it, I didn't have that reek. You know, some yeah. people smoke one right after the other. Oh, yeah, chain smokers. Mm -hmm. The only time it would be if I had been out in a bar or something that I, you know. Oh, right, then you would really it. smell because so, everybody's smoke yeah. was on your clothes. Yeah, so she, I go, Carly? <laughs> she goes, what? I think she was in eighth grade. I said, are you smoking? She goes, no, Mom, I would never do that. <laughs> well, they would walk across the street because they couldn't smoke on campus and uh -huh. all huddle together. I mean, we're talking 30-degree weather. Oh, my they're gosh. they're all out there huddled together because they couldn't go get their jackets. Like, they had to wear whatever <laughs> they had on and, and go and cool across the street and huddle together and smoke a cigarette real quick and then get back to their next class. And I was so... I yeah. Like, yeah. You've seen me try to quit 50 million times, and then you go and do this. So, I know. So she didn't for a while, but then in high school, and that's only one of the only reasons I think I ever started smoking was because of to lose weight and peer pressure. Mm hmm. So, mm hmm. So yep. I'm trying to. Yep. My granddaughter's 16, so it's kind of like I'm sure. <laughs> oh gosh, I hope she's not smoking. I hope kids have more sense now. I it seems they like do. they do the vaping now. But that's just as bad. Oh, it's bad. It's the worst because they're... It is. It's have really bad. Have you ever bad. seen the, the smoke that's exhaled from the vapor? <laughs> I haven't, but um, I know that stuff's not good for your yeah. lungs. There was a guy at, at Mercury that there was a smoke shack, and then uh, you could see the vapor going. Like, what are you smoking? <laughs> Yeah. It reminded me when somebody was smoking pot and they'd take a big inhale and then blow it out. And then, you know, it was just vaping, you know, <laughs> some vanilla flavored or whatever. And I'm like, yeah, the flavor. You're still inhaling something into your lungs. Right. That's foreign, right. Yes. You know? Yes. So now they're saying, especially teenagers, mm -hmm. 
they had, and every, the one guy I worked with thought he could do that inside because it was not cigarettes. Right. And my, one of the supervisors is like, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to take that outside, you know, it's like. Exactly. Dumb. Yeah. Because it was not cigarettes, so they thought. Right. You know. It was, it was okay. Oh, my gosh. It like, so took a while because a couple of other people have tried it, too. And, yeah. And it's kind of like, well, you're still polluting the, right. the air around for somebody right. else. And you're messing with your lungs. So <laughs> I wonder what in the world they're going to come up with next. To... Oh, yeah. <laughs> One at a time. Just getting back to that kind of stuff. When I was mid-80s, I guess it was, they had a, looked like a regular cigarette, but it was plastic. Oh. And it had nicotine in it. Wow. So you could take a couple of puffs off of it with no smoke. Oh. And I don't get remember that, those. It would, they didn't last very long because uh -huh. they, you know, it was, it was a better alternative. Mm -hmm. And they, when they came out with those filters, you go like a yes. two, one. And I'm like, I like that because I quit for about a year uh -huh. using that thing. But then I couldn't find them anywhere. Oh. Uh, you know, you know, I'm sure it's because everybody bought them. Right. And they wanted you to buy cigarettes or the filters. Because those filters were made by the tobacco companies. Of course. <laughs> it was yeah. kind of like it ain't helping. Right. You know? Right. Yeah. Okay, well, um, thank you for all the memories. Yeah, you have a great memory. memory. <laughs> yes, and for now, sharing. In a year, I might not. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think that way. Yes, yeah. of course, you will be better in a year. And, um, yeah, at the next video. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome.